Hi, this is a supplementary Algebra 1 lesson covering Lesson 86, Coin Problems. So this is an introduction to a new type of word problem in which you have to derive two formulas, two equations, two equalities from the given information in the word problem. And since it's a new one, I would recommend reading over uh, Lesson 86 in your textbooks. Uh, page 309 especially kind of explains okay what's going on there so this is the first type of word problem where we'll have two unknowns in the problem and that's why we have to write two equations so if we have two unknowns we need to have two separate equations uh, to solve that remember that's that's a fundamental principle of algebra okay now uh, with these problems, it's going to go directly to the area that gives most students problems with these. So one of the equations is pretty simple. <coughs> it's just the number of coins involved. Okay. And then uh, the second one is uh, the determining the value uh, equation to come up with the value of uh, a particular set of coins and just think of it let's just let's just think of it if we have two sets of coins I have 17 nickels and 17 dimes and this is off of example 86.1 in your book on page 310 if you want to open your book and follow along there or reference there go ahead and pause the video and do that now okay so let's see how would we determine what the value of that is if we want to know what is 17 dimes plus 17 nickels how much money do we have okay well we know a nickel is worth five cents okay so we're gonna multiply that we have 17 of them uh, we're gonna add over here a dime is worth 10 cents okay we're gonna multiply that by 17 okay it's going to give us <laughs> <coughs> excuse me an equality okay when we multiply this out we get 85 cents okay we're gonna add to it when we multiply this out we get hundred and seventy cents okay when we add those together we get two hundred and fifty five cents okay now in the book they said if you want to go ahead uh, and express these problems in terms of cents you can but you must re realize now if we're going to express uh, our value in cents in cents what is it going to return it's going to return our, our value in cents okay 255 cents okay now typically we don't express uh, dollar values that way we would say that that is equal to two dollars and 25 cents okay so if we want our equation to return dollars okay we must express the value of nickels and dimes in dollars in other words if we want that to, to equal dollars <coughs> okay what do we do we express the value of the nickel in terms of dollars. What is it in terms of dollars? It's $0.05. That's the same as cents. Then we would multiply that by 17. And the same thing with dimes. What is the value in dollars? It's 0 0.10 times 17. Okay. Then what do we get? We get 85 cents. 0.85 dollars plus what do we get over here we get a dollar seventy okay that equals two dollars and twenty five cents okay so uh, in the in the word problem when doing values okay uh, when determining equations for values you have two options use the one that you like the best so in other words if we were to set up an equation for this okay in cents we would say five times the number of nickels we have plus 10 times the number of dimes we have would equal our value in, in cents, okay? 
that would equal our number. Our number would be 255. Okay. I'm not going to put the cents or dollars into our equation here. We're just going to know. We're, either, we're just going to keep track. We're either going to express uh, the value of the nickel in terms of cents here, 5 cents, 10 cents per dime, total number of cents that our value is. Or we have the option of expressing the equation like this in terms of dollars. 0.05 dollars times the number of nickels plus 0 0.10 times the number of dimes will equal uh, 2.55. Uh, five. Five, five. And I'm sorry here, I have the wrong number up there. Hope that didn't throw you. Let me correct that right now. Okay. Um, so uh, what we have here is, again, you have two options when determining uh, the value uh, the, equ the equation you want to use in terms of cents or in terms of dollars. Use the one that makes sense to you, okay? Let's go ahead and do, we'll do two of your homework problems. Uh, practice A and B in the book. Real quick. This will be A in the book, okay? Um, Ahmad and uh, Regina had 36 coins that are nickels and dimes. If the value of the coins is 290, how many coins of each type do they have? There's our two unknowns. How many coins of each type do we know? And we have, what do we have? Nickels and dimes, okay? What is the first equation? The first equation is gonna be how many total do we have all together? And we are gonna use our subscripted values. N means the number of uh, nickels plus the number of dimes equals how many? 36 in this problem. Okay, that's always going to be a real simple to get the first equation, just how many coins total. Now it says the value of that is $2.90. Let's do it using pennies. Let's use it doing cents in this equation. Okay, so five cents per nickel times the number of nickels plus 10 cents per dime times the number of dimes is going to equal what? It's $2.90, but that's expressed in terms of dollars. Let's press, express it in terms of cents would be $2.90, okay? There's our two equations. Now what we're going to do, when we have two equations, two unknowns, we want to substitute into one of the equations, okay? <laughs> Let's set up this equation in a way where we can substitute n sub n, the number of nickels, is going to be 36. We're going to take the dimes over here minus the number of dimes, okay? So then what am I going to do? I'm going to take that value. I'm going to substitute it into that second equation. So we have 5, and I'm going to put a parentheses. I'm going to have this expression. We're, we're replacing n sub n here, the number of nickels, with this expression. So I'm going to put it in parentheses. 36 times the number of dimes. Close it off. I'm going to continue writing my equation. Plus 10 times the number of dimes equals 290. Okay. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to multiply that out. I get 180 minus 5ND plus 10 times ND equals 290. I'm going to combine the NDs over here. I have a 10 minus a 5. It comes up to a 5 ND. Okay. I'm going to move my 180 over to this side. 290 minus 180 is 110. Okay. And then I'm going to divide by 5 to get my number of dimes. Okay. My number of dimes is 22, okay, when I do the division. Now, are we done? No, they wanted the number of each, okay? We have the number of dimes. We need to know what are the number of nickels. Well, when we rearrange this equation up here, it's already expressed in a way to solve for the number of nickels. The number of nickels 
equals 36 minus what? The number of dimes. We just solved for that. It's 22. Okay? So our number of nickels equals then 14. Okay? By the way, this is the level of work I'm wanting to show. Now, I'm going to think, I'm going to contemplate not giving you those quizzes anymore because I know most of those answers in the back of the book and uh, a number of you are just writing down the answers and not showing work. Okay, we can't do that. We're introducing new subjects here. You need to show the work. This is the level of work I'm wanting you to show so I know that you know what you're doing. Did I say that right? I know what you know. I know what you know, that I know you're doing it right. Something like that, okay? So that's A. Let's go to example B. Or I should say practice problem B. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Emil has $6.45 in quarters and dimes, <laughs> okay? So what do we have? Quarters and dimes. Let's express this one in dollars, okay? Uh, so we have quarters and dimes, number of quarters, and then we're gonna add to it uh, the value of dimes. I'm gonna use small d's and small q, doesn't matter. They use a capital one in your book, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? So. What is the value of a quarter in dollars? It's 0.25 dollars, 25 cents times the number of quarters plus what? 0 0.10 is the value of the dime in dollars. It's a tenth of a dollar, 0.1 dollars times the number of dimes will equal $6.25 and 45 cents. Okay, I have everything expressed in dollars. Dollars, dollars, dollars. Okay, what is our second equation? He has nine more quarters than dimes. Okay, so the number of quarters is quarters uh, is greater than, I'm going to park the nine up there. That's the trick we did with those other uh, <clears throat> problems with uh, integer problems. <clears throat> okay, the number of quarters is greater than the number of dimes right now by nine. So how do I change this into an equality? The number of quarters will equal what? Well, right now this side is greater. I have two options. I can add nine to this side to make it equal, or I could subtract nine from this side, the left side, to make it equal. I'm going to add nine over here to this side. Okay, so there are my two equations. This one I'm not going to use because it's an inequality. I've changed it to an equality. Well, when I notice, it's already set up for substitution. N Q, N sub Q. I can take this value here and plug it in for N sub Q up there. Okay, and so uh, what do I get? I'll get a 0.25 times, I'm going to put this expression in, n sub d plus 9, okay, close it off, that is now my expression for nq, I'm going to keep writing my expression, plus 0 0.10 nd uh, equals 6.45, okay, my chalk is running to a stub here, i got to get a new piece of chalk. Okay, I multiply that out. I get 0.25 nd uh, plus 2.25, and then I write out the rest of my expression. Okay, I combine the nds here. I have 0.25 plus 0.1. I get 0.35 nds equals, I'm going to take the 225 over to this side, 6.45 minus 2.25 equals 4.20, okay? I'm going to divide out that number to get the ND alone, 
Okay, what am I going to get? I'm going to get an ND, and will that show up on the screen there? Let me just take this down a smidge there. Okay, I'm going to get an ND equal to 12. Okay, so that's my first answer. ND is equal to 12. <clears throat> now, am I done? No, that's the number of dimes I have. Okay, uh, what I need my number of nickels. And, of course, up here... It's already expressed here, this equation right here, to solve for the number of nickels. The number, or, or the number of quarters, I should say. The number of quarters equals the number of dimes. Well, we just solved for that. It's 12 plus 9 plus 9. The number of quarters will equal 21. Okay. Now, what you can always do to double check, if you get some weird numbers, now, the, the numbers should be pretty close. You know, if you get weird numbers like, you know, the nickels is 202 and the quarters is 1, you might go, hmm, that seems a little odd. I mean, we're only adding up to $6.45, okay? It should be reasonable numbers. Well, what you can always do <coughs> is plug in your solutions there into one of these into the value equation okay so we have 21 quarters we can substitute 21 in there we have 12 dimes we have 12 dimes we can substitute that into there okay and then we can see is 0.25 times 21 plus 0.1 times 12 does it equal 645? Okay, and in this case, when I go ahead and do it, it does. It comes out to 645. Means we're good. Okay, so that's a way to double check these if you think your answers are, are a little bit weird. Okay, so there's two methods to do that. Uh, you set up two equations. One equation uh, is normally going to be equating the number of nickel or the number of coins that you have. Uh, in this case, it started as an inequality. We changed it to an equality. Okay. And then we're going to set the values uh, <coughs> of those equal. They're going to have to give us the combined value to do that. You have two options. You can express it in that e that value equation in terms of cents like we did in practice problem A or in terms of dollars as we did here in practice problem B. Whichever one makes better sense to you uh, or you like using better. So I hope that helps. Shoot an email or um, a text message with any questions. So long for now.